I thank you for joining me. I'm going to be reading the Earth Class Notes, written by the Twelfth Apostle, entitled, The Number of the Beast. Now it is time for me to explain the truth of the last book of the Bible, the Revelation, uh, written by the Eleventh Apostle, John. Uh, the 66th book of the Bible has numeric applications to six, the number of man, and 666, the number of man, woman, and child. Uh, please understand that I love the 11th Apostle John, but it is very needful for me to truthfully analyze his specific understanding of the subjects that he wrote about, not what God or Jesus wrote, but the revelation of John's thoughts. All of John's writings in the last book of the Bible record are very parabolic and extremely symbolic of his lack of understanding about the events regarding the end of this evil world age in which he was a victim of then. But not now. John has learned and understands so very much now in his spirit body, at the top of the third heaven and from the writings of the twelfth apostle, when John wrote Revelation, he did not realize that the spirit body feels no pain, only pleasure, and unlike the physical body, the spirit body cannot be injured, grow old and die, never get sick, hungry or thirsty. No one understood this provable truth about the spirit body in John's days on earth, and so very few do now with many believing and teaching of a burning lake of fire and brimstone that John wrote so much about in Revelation. John wrote that those whose names were not written in the book of life were cast into a lake of fire where they will be tormented day and night forever. Now, all of this proves that John knew nothing about God when he wrote Revelation as an aged man a man who had forgotten the truths he had learned. It is very important for you to know this truth, for if you don't, you will have the wrong ideas about God, uh, fearing him instead of loving him, loving him more than anyone or anything. God's perfect plan for all individuals in their spirit bodies is unconditional love, a love that has no place for hate, pain, and sufferings, only goodness and pleasure. Now, because six is the number of man, six represents God's plan for man's reproduction on earth now and later out into the expanding universe where we will travel to see God and Jesus in the third heaven, introducing them to our sons and daughters in the ultimate family reunion. Until next time.